Hello everyone. Today in this video, we will be discussing about workability of concrete and the factors affecting workability of concrete. Before that, if you like the videos I make, please do like, comment and share and don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the latest video updates. Workability of concrete basically refers to how easily freshly mixed concrete can be placed, consolidated and finished with minimal loss of homogeneity. Generally, the workability of concrete is determined by how fluid the mix is, that is, the water to cement ratio. This is commonly referred to as slum. Essentially, the more fluid the concrete, the higher is the slum, and the while the slum is seen as a measure of water content, it is typically also used as a measure of concrete consistency. Concrete mix In a workable concrete mix, the function of water is to lubricate the concrete so that the concrete can be compacted with minimum effort at the site of work. The care should be taken that the concrete may not experience segregation, loss of homogeneity, compaction with a minimum amount of effort and finish easily. The presence of certain quantity of water is of vital importance. The workability of concrete is also the ability of fresh concrete to fill form work properly with a sufficient amount of vibration and without reducing the concrete's quality. The fresh concrete workability mainly depends on water content, cement content, aggregate, particle size distribution and the amount of hydration and can be modified by adding chemical admixtures like superplasticizers. Workability of concrete types The workability of concrete can be classified into three types. Unworkable concrete, medium workable concrete and highly workable concrete. First we will see the unworkable concrete. Unworkable concrete is a concrete in which the concrete has a very little amount of water. It is also known as harsh concrete in which the hand mixing of concrete is likely very difficult. Segregation of aggregates is high in such concretes leading to a difficulty to maintain the homogeneity of such concrete mix. Next we will see medium workable concrete. Medium workable concrete is considered good in all sense of all properties a concrete should possess. The same is the reason it is used in most construction work. It can easily be mixed, transport, placed and compacted without much segregation and loss of homogeneity. Lastly, we'll discuss highly workable concrete. As the name suggests, highly workable concrete will be very easy to mix, transport, place and compact. In the circumstances where effective compaction of concrete is not possible, this type of concrete is well suited. With high workability, the problem is such that there are high chances of segregation of concrete and loss of homogeneity. Desirable workability of concrete for such construction Desirable workability of concrete depends on two factors. Based on the first factor, workability of concrete depends on section size, amount and spacing of reinforcement. Let us now discuss section size. For a narrow complicated section with several narrow corners and inaccessible parts, Highly workable concrete is recommended to obtain full compaction of concrete with sufficient effort. With no limitation of the critical section or heavily reinforcement concrete, we can get a wide range of workability of concrete casting in construction. The section is crowded with steel reinforcement and if the spacing between the bars is relatively small, then compaction is difficult. For such cases, also highly workable concrete is recommended. The second factor responsible for selecting the type of workability is the method of compaction. Manual compaction of concrete requires more workability because the hand compaction method is not much uniform and effective. Vibrators or machines provide high workability range because of the efficiency and effectiveness offered by such machines. Relationship between strength and workability of concrete The strength of concrete defines the nature of concrete Hence, it is the most important property for us. However, its dependency on other properties of concrete forces us to relate them with strength. Strength is affected by density ratio or compacted and in turn compaction depends on sufficient workability. Fresh concrete should have a specific workability in order to obtain maximum density with a reasonable amount of work. However, excessive workability can affect compressive strength or even lessen it. The compressive strength of concrete can decrease with an increase in water to cement ratio which in turn increases workability. Hence, we can conclude that the strength of concrete is inversely proportional to the workability. So, in order to obtain specific strength of concrete, too much workability should be avoided. Factors affecting workability of concrete 
the following are the factors affecting concrete workability the first one is water content or water to cement ratio and the second one is mix proportion third one is size of aggregate and surface texture fourth one is shape of aggregate fifth is grading of aggregates sixth is use of admixture and seventh one is weather condition in the next video we will be discussing factors affecting workability of concrete in detail i hope you found this video useful if you like the video then please like comment and share and don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the latest video updates thank you for watching